Hey vlog, it's me Gabby. <laughs> I never know how to start it. It's weird. I know. Okay, so I don't know if my hair cutting vlog is gonna be live yet. So if it's not, this is my mom. I've been in Minnesota with her for like 10-ish days and I've made her now do two vlogs with me cause you know. Gotta get that content. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so today we're gonna do a little get ready with me um, skincare version. So we're each gonna walk you through our skincare routines, but and we're gonna do a little twist because I feel like most influencers do like, oh, ask me questions and I'll answer them about myself, like so cutesy. No, today we're doing celebrity <laughs> F Mary Kill. <laughs> Wow, we walk you through our skincare routine. I signed up for this. Yes, I did. Yes, you did. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, just a little bit of background. I would say the last nine months, I've been going through this skincare journey, if that's what you wanna call it. My skin was the worst that it had ever been, probably because of you know the stress of the world and masks and all that stuff. And I went to a dermatologist and they, helped me out. They were like, okay, yeah, you need major help. I actually have a video of what my skin did look like a few months ago. I'll insert, insert that here. Okay, so that was my skin. And so this is the skincare lineup that has helped me clear up my skin. As you can see, it's way more clear. I do have a few pimples right now, but that's because I'm on my period, so. Hormones. That's a lot of information. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a woman, my mom, I get that. I, yeah. Okay, so why do you do your skincare routine? Oh my goodness. I started skincare, I, I mean, when I was young, the only thing I used was like Neutrogena and then eye cream. And I started using The Ordinary about six months ago. Um, I just wanted to try something new and it was all the rage. So I tried it, but I love it. And before that, I was using Neutrogena, actually. Really? Yeah. But so was... you were using Neutrogena for like 30 years? No, I did oh. different things in between there. Like I've done expensive, not expensive. Most recently, I did the Neutrogena, the one with the retinol, uh -huh. Jennifer Garner. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. You guys are tight. Yeah, yeah we're just like besties. Yeah. Anyway, but that really worked. I really liked it. So I think that the number one thing is like figure out what it is your skin needs. So like if it's dry, make sure you use dry stuff or oily. Mm -hmm. Like that sounds really basic, but a lot of people That's just true. use like all this stuff because somebody promotes it and it's not what your skin needs. Totally. Yeah. Cool. We should have a podcast. We should. Oh my gosh. Where do we get the stuff for that? <laughs> <laughs> we'll start with the vlog. We'll start with okay. the vlog. Okay, so I had you guys submit on Instagram, F Mary Kills, and I've seen them, but my mom hasn't. So Let's just get started with it all. So obviously I just took a shower, which is why I have my towel wrap on. So I'll show you what I used in the shower. So I use a um, exfoliant twice a, twice a week, usually on Wednesdays and Saturdays. So it's a Wednesday. So I use this and it's the first day maker micro crystal exfoliator. I really like this. It's not a chemical exfoliator. It's like a physical one. Like it has the, beads or whatever is in it. And then I use the Pure and Gentle Cleansing Gel from January Labs. I use this day and night every day. What did you do? Oh, I use the Ordinary Squalling Cleanser. Um, I use this at night. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes I use it at night. Yeah, you Most, don't always wash your face. I know, I'm bad. But I use it in the morning and I really like this because it's a um, oil, like it's a gel to oil. And so it really cleanses my skin without stripping it. And then totally. you just rinse it up. Nice. Yeah. Okay, so first F, Mary kill. Beyonce, Rihanna, and Whitney. And this person, your son, made a very, made it very clear that Whit it has to be Whitney in her prime, by the way, no cop-outs, she's a druggie allowed. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to marry Whitney. Oh, that's really hard. Oh, I'm totally marrying Whitney. I know, but and then- Rihanna's dead. <laughs> like, so okay. Honestly, yeah, I think F Mary, or Mary Whitney, F Beyonce, kill Rihanna. Yeah. Sorry, Rihanna. Okay, let's do one more. Okay. Um, Harry Styles, Justin Bieber, or Bruno Mars? Oh, Bruno Mars is 
so short, I can't marry him. I know, maybe you could just F him. And who was it? Harry Styles. Harry Styles, Mars. Justin Bieber, and Bruno Mars. Honestly, okay, I think I would marry Harry Styles because he seems very sweet and like he has great style. I think I would kill Jay Biebs because he kind of seems like a douchebag. And then F Bruno Mars because like he's so short, but like. I know, dance. but I know he can dance. I would, I would want to marry Bruno. I would just have to go with it. Yeah. Who is it that's really short and has a tall wife? Oh, Kevin, Kevin Hart. Hart. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Totally. So yeah, and I would, I would kill Bieber because I just feel like he would just be a legend after his death. Oh my god! So you're helping him. You're I helping help, his yes, career. Help, yes, totally. <laughs> okay. Let's move on with skincare because my skin feels dry. All right, so next I do a vitamin C serum. I kind of switch off which ones I use. Right now I'm using this one from Midnight Paloma. And I'm gonna be honest, this one's kind of expensive. I think the bottle's like 60 or $70, but they sent it to me to try out. So that's why I'm using it. But I kind of use expensive serums when brands send them to me. And then in between I use a cheaper vitamin C serum from First. First is kind of, my go-to um but right now i'm using this one i just use two pumps of it and it's very concentrated like can you see that <laughs> oh god it's very concentrated and it's very liquid so you don't need very much of it which is really nice because then it's gonna last a while cool what do you use i have three right now that i use so this one is the our gear line solution 10 percent it is like a liquid Botox. Oh, okay. Um, it's like water, so you just put it on the places where you might have lines. So I put them, I put it here around my eyes, here, and then I slather it on my neck. Naturally. Yes, and then I also use a caffeine solution 5% for eyes. Just dot that, it's for puffiness. Caffeine. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I do the buffet plus copper peptides. So this serum, they have the buffet and then they have the buffet plus copper. I use the plus copper because why not? I just do everything plus. Yeah. Um, so these are the ones and they're all just for fine lines brightening. Um, I usually like to use a retinol cream or mm -hmm. serum, but I only do that in the winter because I'm in the sun so much and you can't really use retinol. Yeah, with, you don't want to like destroy your skin. Yeah, destroy your skin and I'm really not good at putting retinol at, on at night. So um, I switch off and use retinol in the winter time when I need the brightness and mm -hmm. then I use these in the summertime. So yeah, but I have to take my glasses off to do this. So I'll do it while Gabby's talking, so yeah. Cool. Okay, so we're gonna do another F Mary Kill. So think about it while you do your serums, mom. Okay. Okay, the first one is, I already know who we're both gonna marry. Okay, Idris Elba. Oh my God. I know. Will Smith and Michael B. Jordan. What? That is a terrible combination. I can't even choose. Well, you have to. Oh, okay. Well, I know you're going to marry Idris Elba, I'm right? totally going to marry him. I mean, he That's has... so awkward because I'm marrying him. It's, we're, uh, we're sister wives. It's but so also weird. like But he is, like, his accent alone. Like, why oh, wouldn't you yeah, marry him? Because he's British. I yes. Think. Sometimes I forget because he doesn't usually play a British character. I know. I know. Yeah. He's so good. He's so good. And then um, I would have to... Who was the third choice? Will Smith? Will Smith oh, okay. and Michael B. Jordan. All right. Well, I'm just going to be with Michael B. Jordan on the side. He's my side chick. Totally. And then you kill Will Smith. Yeah. Yeah, me too. I know. And I love Will, but like... He's just a little extra for me. I also like, you know, if, if things are, if like this was really to happen, like I just don't think that I would oh, want, wow, I don't think I would want Jada <gasps> there it is. on my bad side. Oh my God. <laughs> she, she would kill me. She's so scary. She would totally <laughs> kill me. So she's like, you're trying to kill my husband. I'm gonna kill you, bitch. Yeah, no, I'm yeah. not doing that. I'm okay. not doing any of that. Yeah, no, thank you. Also, one more thing I thought about. I already have four kids, so I don't need all of his stuff kids. Totally. Yeah, and you would go savage on them. You would. I think I that know. they would be an exception to my savageness. Okay. Because I would just whip my hair back and forth. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Next up in my routine, I like to use a face oil because it just locks in moisture for me and makes me glowy. So right now I'm using the Burst Sunday Morning Antioxidant Oil Serum. 
this is what it looks like. I like this one because it's a face oil, but it's also a serum and it's just supposed to do what I just said, AKA lock in moisture and make you glowy. So I use three drops of this, one, two, three, and then I just rub it on my face and it makes me, for the lack of a better word, glow. Um, but sometimes like my skin kind of goes day by day on dryness. So some days I'll make this my final step. I don't need a moisturizer because it, this does have moisturizing properties in it, but sometimes I do need a moisturizer. So I'm gonna give, give this a few minutes and see if I need a moisturizer. So some days that's, that's my whole morning skincare routine. Wrapped up, easy to go. What do you got? I got a moisture serum as well. Okay. Hyaluronic acid. What was Can that? Can you say that? What, how, what was it? Hyaluronic acid. Is that right? Hyaluronic acid? Yeah. It's yeah. just hard to say when you say it fast. Yeah. Anyway, so I use this. I use the 2% and I love it because my skin is naturally dry, but this does not make it greasy at all. So sometimes if I'm pressed for time, because who isn't, I will mix this with my moisturizer, but I always use this. And sometimes if I'm really dry, I will put it like on my legs too. Ooh. Are you supposed to do that? No, <laughs> I do. It's just so dry. <laughs> what this does, no, it's not like moisturizer like you would think of because it's liquidy. It pulls moisture from the air. So like in the summertime, you just need a little bit because it yeah. pulls the moisture and in the winter you would need like a lot. Yeah. So yeah, okay. so that's what I use. Got it. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do one more. Are you moisturizing today? I think I might, yeah. Okay. Okay, this one isn't people. This one is food. This one's really hard for me though because <laughs> <laughs> my friend Marika attacked me and sent in my three favorite foods. Okay, a BLT, a grilled cheese plus tomato soup, or a taco salad. Oh, I could do without a taco salad. I thought you were going to say a taco. That, no. Okay. A taco salad? Maybe a taco then. Let's just make it a taco. Oh. Oh, oh my gosh. I'm gonna go with the taco because you're gonna marry I, a taco. I would marry a taco. You can have any kind of taco: breakfast taco, shrimp taco, beef taco, pork taco, cheese taco, bean taco. Um, what's a the one that taco. we had in Mexico? In Mexico, baby, uh, <laughs> the one that we couldn't pronounce with the fishbowl, where our our family erupted oh, in a full fight. Bill. Bill something pork with I don't know it's like a full on fight. Our that's family a, got in a full on fight. That's another insurance. It's really another vlog. But you can even have that taco taco for dessert. True. Mary taco. Mary taco. Yes. Okay. And then uh, I would have to uh, side hoe BLT. Mm -hmm. It's just so good. So good. And then I guess I just never have a grilled cheese and tomato soup. soup. It's just too basic. It's too basic. Oh, but that's why it's good. It's like it never gets old because it's so basic. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm, oh my God, this is so hard. I think I'm gonna marry tomato soup and grilled cheese. Mom, you know how often I eat a grilled cheese. True, she does. And then honestly, I think I might have to have taco as my side hoe and kill BLT because I love a BLT, but I can't have both the things forever only be sandwiches. I need some variety. <laughs> True. Okay, so now I'm gonna moisturize. So I switch off between the matcha face moisturizer and the Kinfield Daily Dew, depending on what I'm doing. I know you're supposed to wear SPF every day, even if you don't go outside, but that personally just doesn't work for me, so I don't do that. <laughs> so if I'm gonna be outside, I do obviously the SPF sunscreen, and if I'm not, I do the non-SPF. But oftentimes if I'm like inside and then I'm like, oh, I'm gonna go outside, I put on SPF. I just don't always start with that during my routine. So I'm gonna use this guy. I really like this because it's very moisturizing, like it's heavy, but it's also light at the same time, if that makes sense. And as you can see, because it has matcha on it, it's green, which helps with your color correcting. So like, you know, green, cancels out red or whatever that is. So you can use this without using any sort of makeup to color correct. You're so smart. Right? Yeah. I mean, I didn't create that product, but like still. But still. Okay, what are you doing? All right, so I am using, because it's daytime, the 
natural moisturizing factors. It's just their basic moisturizer. Um, I really like it. Like I said, I usually mix it with my um, hyaluronic acid, but today I'm not going to. Um, a little bit goes a long way. I have a t-shirt on so you can't see, but I usually put all of this on my decollete. Your what? Your chest, it's called a decollete. Hello. In what century, mom? In like all centuries, it's a big deal. So this is what I use during the day. And then at night, um, I use the 100% um, organic cold pressed rose hip oil. Oh, I've heard that's really good it's for you. It's so good. It like, it feels like a grease pot on your face, but it soaks in, it gives tons of moisture. It feels so good when you wake up in the morning, your skin is just like, oh, chef's kiss. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's what I use at night. Um, Oh, you only have four minutes until your meeting. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's finish up then. Okay, um, here's a good one. David Beckham, Christian Bale, Justin Timberlake. Okay, well, Christian Bale, for sure, I'm going to marry. Okay, so now we're married to two people of the same. That's I know, but he's awkward. so hot in the accent. He's so hot. And he's so and versatile. Oh my God. I mean, like him as Batman. I mean, what? Wow. And he's so versatile. Like. He just, like, you just never see him coming. Like, he's just sure. gonna be that perfect husband that's just there for you whenever. And he's a shapeshifter. <laughs> and then <laughs> you're like, you know what? I'm not feeling your vibe. He's like, I'll become Dick Cheney. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. That is right. Okay. Anyway, and then as my side hoe, um, I'm gonna go with Justin Timberlake because, I mean, apparently he likes that kind of thing. Oh, Ooh, tea. tea. Yeah, didn't you hear that? No, anyway, it's for another, I don't know, some chick he was holding hands with. Oh, I did hear about that. Yeah. Isn't he married to a model? He's married to Jessica Biel. Oh, she's Ooh. a model. I don't know. Okay. Anyway, anyway, the whole point is Justin Timberlake, he can sing, he can dance, he's amazing, he's super funny, but I wouldn't want him every day. And yeah. then the third one was David who? Beckham. Ugh. He's not. hot. He is he has hot, a nice but butt. I don't really like all the tattoos. And, you know, he and Victoria, I don't know. Bye. Okay. I'm not into soccer. Well, I'd marry Christian Bale because, yeah. And then I think David Beckham would be my side hoe because he, like, well, one, he has a really nice butt. And two, think about it. You would tap into both types of luxury. You've got famous Hollywood actor, and then you've got famous European sports star. Like you would be living the best of both lives. I guess. Okay. For the perks, not necessarily for the for the person. <laughs> okay. And then Justin Timberlake, out. Even I though I love him, but whose child are you? I don't know. Ah, yours. <laughs> <laughs> are you trying to tell me something? I love Justin Timberlake. I know you do. I do too. I've seen him in con you've seen him in concert more than I have. But yeah. still. Anyway. Anyway. Okay. Do you have anything left in your skincare routine? That's pretty much it. Oh, drink, try to drink lots of water. Classic. Yeah, I know. And also, um, I do everything that I'm not supposed to do for wrinkles, which is I don't usually wear sunscreen on my face and um, I don't take my makeup off every night, but um, yeah. But I, do I mean, wear you a hat. good. Thank you. I wear a hat in the sun though. That's one thing. Mm -hmm. And um, eye cream and the tan. The decollete. Okay, well, the last thing I do is I use this turmeric tonic from Coco Kind, which is just an all natural spot treatment. So I just kind of honestly lather it around. I don't even rub it in, I just put it on me where I have spots. I'm not even looking in a mirror, I think I have spots here. Did I miss any? No, you got okay. it. Um, and then I don't even rub it, rub it in, I just let it soak in so that it just kills all those pimps I got going on on my face. The pimps. The pimps. Oh, I did forget something. What? Lip balm. Oh, yeah. Brand. Just whatever. Same. Yeah. I use like Aquaphor. Yeah. Aquaphor, Burt's Bees, I don't know. Whatever. Yeah. But SPF, I burn my lips really easily. Yeah, that's... Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well... <laughs> Let us know if you want more. <laughs> Or if we should start a podcast. I think we should. I think we should too. I don't know how to do it. I like the big microphone idea though. And like the head, like the headphones. Yeah. Like really serious. Like, like cool. Yeah. It'd be fun. It would. Okay. Well, like, comment, subscribe. Actually, wait, we're not done. We have our whole nighttime routine to do. Okay. Still like, comment, subscribe, and we'll be back later for more content. Hi guys. 
So fast forward about a week <laughs> from when we filmed the first part of this video because I kept trying to film my nighttime routine and I honestly would just be too tired or forget to do that for you guys. But I'm here to show you the second part of my skincare routine. I'm gonna keep it really quick because the first part of this video is very long and my mom's obviously not here with me. So it's just gonna be very product based and I will run through that and then call it good. At night, I like to double cleanse first with an oil-based cleanser and then following up with the cleansing gel that I use in the morning. So the first cleanser that I use is the Versed Day Dissolve Cleansing Balm. So use this to get off any makeup or just like the dirt or whatever's on my face. And then after I rinse that off, I go in with the Pure and Gentle Cleansing Gel from January Labs that I use in the morning time to make sure that my skin is extra cleansed. Now that I've cleansed, I'm gonna use the Ceramide Barrier Serum from Coco Kind. Um, it says it's a nourishing daily serum for skin barrier support. Honestly, don't know what that means. However, I just, it does good things for my skin. Like it makes it very firm. It makes it very like not as dry. So I'm gonna keep doing it. Like, it has, it, it's affected my skin. If it has long-term effects, I don't know. Somebody let me know what skin, what ceramide barrier or what. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is why I haven't filmed the nighttime part because I get tired and I just ramble and I don't make any freaking sense. Now that I put my serum on and I'm gonna try and make sense this time. Every other night I use this Trentinoin cream. So earlier in the vlog, how I said that I went to the dermatologist and they helped me out. They put me on this prescription cream and then also an oral medication. So just want to make it very clear that the skincare products that I'm promoting right now, or not even promoting, that I'm just like talking about, they're not the only thing that cleared up my skin. Like I actually got help from a dermatologist and they helped me out medically. These are just ones that complemented the prescriptions that they gave me to help clear up my skin. So I just use this every other night. I really only use it in this area because as you can see from the video earlier, that's where my, my main breakouts were. I never really actually broke out on my forehead. Last thing I do is moisturize. So I like to use the Kinfield SOS Rescue Mask. The nice thing about this is that it's, it could be a mask or it could just be a regular nighttime moisturizer. It's very similar to the concept of the jet lag mask from Summer Fridays, if you are familiar with that. So you can use a thicker amount and leave it on and then wash it off as a nourishing or like hydrating mask. Um, but I just use it every night. So I don't do a thick layer. Like I just do honestly like that much and just use it as my normal nighttime moisturizer. It is a bit thicker than a normal moisturizer, I'd say, but it literally leaves me so hydrated. And in the morning, my skin is just like dewy and supple and moisturized and stunning. Okay, here ends the vlog. My hair is whack. I'm so tired. I don't even know if this made sense. I'm probably not even gonna like this video, but I kid you not, this is my fourth attempt at filming this. So we just need to be done with it. However, like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>